Today I decided I'm going to make some eco printed papers, you know, those uh, boiled book pages like Rosemary Morris does. And I don't have a beautiful like fairyland garden <laughs> in my yard like she does. <laughs> I have this <laughs> kind of really sad field behind my house <laughs> that's just full of all kinds of junk. I'm sure there's poison ivy back there, among other things. But me and my mom went um, digging through the greenery back there this morning and just picked some different leaves off of trees and plants and, you know, weeds and things like that. Nothing fancy, just um, overgrown wooded area. And, and this will work. Um, some of the big flowers and things like rosemary uses make beautiful prints, but you can still get prints out of junk like this. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got these, I've got some papers, and now I'm just going to start um, layering some clippings. Alrighty, I gathered up some papers. I've got some uh, watercolor paper. <sighs> I forgot to look. It's hot press, which is what I prefer, and so it's really, really smooth, but I forgot to see which weight it is. I'll try to remember to look that up and then put a note on the video. But it's just inexpensive, probably student grade watercolor paper. I've got some uh, computer paper. This is my favorite hammer mill uh, color copy digital paper that I like. I do have this in my Amazon recommendations shop if you're interested in that. And then just some envelopes that I've had forever and a day that I've not been using and uh, you know they need to they need to go. <laughs> so I'm just going to start layering. Now Rosemary uses a couple blocks of wood to make her sandwich. I don't have wood I've got these two pieces of, this is hardware cloth. You can get this at the hardware store. Um, it's usually over where stuff like the chicken wire is, you know. So I cut these pieces to fit into my pot. And that's, that's how I have to size everything. It has to fit into my pot. So I cut these to, to size. And my papers will fit inside these. And then I've got some... Uh, rusty wire to wire it together. Hopefully this will work. We'll see. I do have like a I got a big piece of uh, concrete over in the ditch across from the house and that's not a ditch. That's a retention pond whatever. But anyway, I have that to weight it down. So hopefully this will work. And what you do, I've done this once before but I don't think I made a video and it worked well I just, it seems like to me, like when I did it, it was like last fall, and I didn't have a lot of green stuff to choose from, so, you know, I just wasn't really wowed by the experience, but now it's early spring, or mid-spring, whatever it is, it's nearly summer, is it summer yet? No, it's not summer yet, it almost is, anyway, I have more to choose from, so I'm a little more excited about it this time. So I think what I'll do is just um, start with watercolor paper, and then I got these off of a tree, I think. I am extremely prone to uh, poison ivy and, you know, poisonous plants, but I'm not really good at identifying them. So <laughs> there may be situations where y'all are going to be like, oh my gosh, Shannon, don't touch that. <laughs> You know, I wish you were here to save me from myself, but it is what it is, and we're just going to go with it, okay? Okay, and instead of doing fold-over pages, I think I'm just, I'm going to do flat ones, just layers, you know, one on top of another, and just see. I'm just going to see. The last time I did the fold-over, like Rosemary did in her very first video, um, but I'm going to try this and see what happens. And I'm also going to like vary my pages. Now I might put this one and then I might put a small what? Okay, I'll keep up with what I've already used. I used that. 
Um, these, I don't know what these are. I think it's some kind of a wildflower. It was just growing along the fence line over there. So maybe I'll put some of this. And I'll put, I'll have a link or an iCard or something up to Rosemary's video. Because she really did a lot of experimenting and research. And she's done several batches since that first one. So she knows stuff. And I'm just winging it. So, um, yeah, you might want to go and watch her video to um, get the real instructions. Or you can just watch me haphazardly wing it and see what happens. Sometimes it's entertaining when things go awry, right? Okay, this is an envelope. I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to put some of... Uh, where's those little... These were little flower. Oh, I just did a flower. Let's do a green. I don't know what this is, but it's got berries on it. I wonder if I should smush the berries. What's in that berry? Let's just see. Oh, nothing really. Just kind of came off. Huh. Okay, well, it may not do anything color-wise, but maybe it'll make a cool pattern. I don't know. Kind of fun arranging these. It's, you know, almost like drawing a picture with plants. Use that one up. Okay, now maybe another piece of watercolor. Hopefully, I'll get, you know, front and back on this. Do it. Oh, a bee. Wasp. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> It was just checking out what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't panic. <clears throat> okay. Catch my breath. And this was off of a, I guess some kind of cedar thing. Like that. Let's do another envelope. Let's do one of these cream color and do this one this way mm -hmm. these are cool they were on a tree I know someone knows exactly what these are I don't is this like an elm elm leaf maybe I don't know I try to act like I know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to sound stupider and stupider. Uh, computer paper. And this was a... I think this was a tree. Just using that one. It fits just right. And... watercolor paper and ooh, there's a whole bunch of honeysuckle over there so let's do that if I remember right I think Rosemary said you want some overlap you know you want leaves and stuff hanging off the side so I'm leaving that, but I don't want too much. I don't want it to cause problems, you know, for fitting in my pot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
well, you never know. It might be cool or it just might make a mess. Well, some clouds are rolling in, so I've got to get my whole self in the house. <laughs> I made my sandwich quite thick. I've got um, one piece of my hardware cloth underneath. I'm going to put another on top. And then I'm probably just going to run this wire, just weave it in and out around the edge. This is like a intentionally rusted craft wire, so I don't really know how strong it's going to be. I guess I'll find out. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do is just kind of like, you know, up, down, up, down, here and there. like so, pulling it tight as I go. And then hopefully that will not only hold my little bundle together, but um, maybe the wire will add some, you know, something interesting. I don't know. We'll see. So um, I'm going to finish this and then get my little self inside before it starts raining on my camera. I'm not worried about me or anything else, just my camera. <laughs> so I'll be back. Alrighty, I got my little bundle um, wired together, secured, and it's actually pretty tight. I think it's probably, I don't know, it's probably as good as using wood. I don't know, can you get it too tight? I'm really not sure. I hope the water can all get in there. I hope I haven't made it airtight with my superhuman strength. <laughs> yeah, okay. So anyway, got this. I've got my pot that I got at the thrift store for a couple dollars. Actually, I think it was four, but it has a lid, so, you know, there's that. And I've got a couple of rocks. I think these are just pieces of concrete that I got across the street and I'm gonna put one in here I'm gonna put my little bundle on top of that and then I've got this one I'm gonna put on top and that will you know weight it down I guess and plus there's I mean these have been out in the weather there's probably all kinds of weird you know minerals and stuff in here that might actually color the paper um, so you know could be a cool thing I don't know I've got a few rusty metal pieces that I'm going to throw in and I'm just going to cover this with water, bring it to a boil, turn it down to a simmer and leave it for about an hour and a half. Oh and I'm going to add a cup of white vinegar. These are Rosemary's instructions so if I just do what Rosemary did then I'll get cool results like Rosemary got, right? That's my theory. So I'm going to do that boil it and then uh, I'll come back and show you what we ended up with. Alrighty, I know this is a weird camera angle but I wanted you to see what this looks like just coming out of the pot. Um, I ended up throwing some avocado skins in there just because I had them. I was making guacamole. I don't know that they really did anything because there was so much rust and other gunk in there but I don't know. Maybe they did. It's hard to tell. This I already removed my wire, so I just clamped these together to hold it till I could get the camera set up. So, took my wire off, and now let's see what we've got. I think Rosemary said you need to um, rinse these off, so I'll do that. But let's let's get a good look at them first. Now, let's just see, oh, this is some of the watercolor paper, and this was just the weeds, I think it was probably like Johnson grass or something, and it actually worked. That was a grape leaf, 
more of this grass. That looks kind of cool. Which paper? Ooh, this was some of the computer paper, I think. So it's really thin. Oh no, that was an envelope. Oh, it just kind of came open. Oh, cool! <laughs> kind of awesome looking. Ooh. Alright. More weeds and leaves off a tree. Oh, the tree leaves didn't do a whole lot. That's kind of disappointing. Well, there's a little bit of veins right there. Still kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is watercolor paper. And here's what was on the other side. Remember those purple wildflowers? Look, it like leached all the purple out. And, oh. <laughs> okay. I remember where I got that leaf, and look what it does. Those don't do a whole lot. Ooh, I'm going to go back for more of these. Whatever they are. Because look at what they do. They come out really dark. Oh, that's very cool. Wish these had done something funner. But alas. They did not. Oh, that one did. Oh, look! Oh, that is so cool. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, man, I am definitely going back for more of those. There's a whole tree full of them, whatever they are. This was an envelope. It's back side. I don't want to. I don't want to tear it up too badly. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I think what I'm going to do. I'm just going to continue removing the green stuff, and then rinse these off to get any, you know, cling on goobers off of there. Let them dry, and then I'll show you pictures of them. We'll do a flip through after they're dry. Okay? Okay. Now my eco prints are all done, and I'll show you uh, what I got. I got. I did a lot more than this, but these are the ones that turned out best with the most defined prints. The rest of them were just, you know, they got the color, but not a lot of the pattern. And really, most of the color that I got was sort of yellow and gray. But, you know, fortunately, that's kind of trendy right now, the yellow and gray. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> so, I'll show you these. And this was really kind of a learning experience for which plants do better. And now I know, you know, which plants to uh, pick from, the ones that print the darkest and the clearest. So I can go for those again. So let me move in here. And you can see these first ones were on the um, computer paper. And all of the pages have sort of a texture. I, I, yeah, I ironed them. Okay, you know. But still, they have the texture of the plant kind of, you know, where the stems and stuff um, made raised spots so they feel really cool and then they have the patterns this by far was my favorite leaf to print and I just really love the way these turned out they're just so they're so organic right and some of these were just weeds well, most of them were just weeds <laughs> and really not all that special trees. 
These were the envelopes I did, which turned out okay. The paper, this was kind of crappy paper, and it was fell apart really easy, so some of them tore. But, I mean, still, look at that. That is super cool. The cedar um, pieces did well. And these were the watercolor paper, which, of course, did really well because it, it holds up better. I think it seemed to also kind of capture the color better, too. So, yeah. I'm really liking this, and I really, I can't wait to do another batch, you know, now that I've learned a lot. I know, you know, I want to pick these up again. This was a, uh, I can't even remember, this one might have been the little daisy looking flowers. Or that other um, berry plant. I'll definitely get that one again, because that one's cool. So, there you have it. Eco printing or boiled pages, you know, whatever. Um, give it a try. This is a great time of year in the U.S. to do this. Um, other countries, you know, you do it whatever time of year you have the best vegetation. And um, you get some really cool prints and really cool papers. And, you know, if, for those of you who need to know what I'm going to do with these... <laughs> I'm going to use them like I would any other decorative piece of paper, any other scrapbook paper. You can use them for journal pages, make um, tags, cards, ATCs, um, collage, decoupage, you know, just whatever. They're just a fun decorative paper to have on hand. So, that is all. The end.